Good morning, everybody. How are you all? Today, we are going to discuss about an application in POSO distribution. So I'll share my computer screen with you. A recent study of robberies for a certain region showed an average of one robbery per 20,000 people. In a city of 80,000 people, find the probability of two robberies, part A, part B, three or more robberies. So this is a problem on POSO distribution. POSO distribution. So, which states the probability of X occurrences X occurrences in an interval of time and the volume and be area, etc. For a variable, for a variable where lambda. Lambda is the Greek letter, Greek letter, Lambda is the mean now, is the mean, so Lambda is the mean number of occurrences, mean number of occurrences per unit time volume, area, etc. Okay. Is given by is given by P of X with lambda is the mean number of occurrences per unit time, volume, area, etc is equal to E minus lambda, okay? And then this is multiplied by lambda to the power of x divided by x factorial. So where x can be 0, 1, 2, 3, dash, 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 dash. Okay, how much? And E is the natural number, which is 2.7183. And X factorial, this is X factorial, which is X times X minus 1 times X minus 2 dash 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 up to 1. Okay. So, we have been given... So, let's do that. Given one robbery 
first 20,000 people. So for a city with 80,000 people, 80,000 people, the number of robberies will be Robberies will be will be one multiplied by eighty thousand because there are one robberies per twenty thousand people. We divide this by twenty thousand, which is equal to four. So this is the value of lambda okay. so the mean number of robberies per 80000 people which is lambda is equal to 4 Okay, now let's create some space for us. Okay, so let me move this a little bit up. Okay, so the first question is find the probability of two robberies. So a probability of two robberies given lambda is four is equal to e to the power of minus four multiplied by lambda to the power of x divided by two factorial. Much easy way to do it is ti eighty four. So second and then uh, press the verse button and then scroll down to Poison PDF. Okay. And hit enter. Okay. So let's do it that way. That will be easier way to do it. So second verse Scroll down to Pozo PDF and hit enter. My lambda value is four. Okay. And I'm looking for two robberies. So X is two. Okay. So let's write this down. Lambda is 4, x value is 2, and then I paste, put the cursor on paste, and hit enter and enter. Whenever you are on paste, you have to hit enter and enter, twice enter. So paste, enter, and enter. And the answer is 0 0.14. Six five. Okay. So let's uh, move this a little bit up. So probability of two robberies with lambda equal to four is zero point one four six five. And that is the answer for part A. So, this was part A. Now, part B says, like this, three or more, more robberies. So, probability of X greater equal to three. That means it starts from 3 and goes 3, 4, 5, etc. 
So this is the complement of x less than 3. So using the law of complements in probability, this probability is 1 minus probability of x less equal to 2 because this is the complement or opposite of x greater or equal to 3. So this will be equal to 1 minus, we go to POSO CDF now. CDF, why CDF? Because x less equal to 2 includes 0, 1, and 2. So we are going to type in uh, my x value is 2 and my lambda is 4. Okay. So how do I do it in my calculator? Let's create a little bit more space again. So in your calculator, so I'm going to use TI-84 calculator. First, you're going to press 1 minus second button, then verse button, then scroll down with the down arrow key to POSO, POSO CDF. CDF, you understand, we are using C stands for cumulative because we are subtracting from 1 the probabilities of x being 0, x being 1, and x being 2. So we are adding the probabilities of 0, 1, and 2. Hence, we are using Poisson CDF. C stands for cumulative. So we go to Poisson CDF. So let's do it in the calculator. So I first type 1, then minus second verse. And I scroll down to POSO CDF. Hit enter. My lambda is 2. So let me write down here. Lambda. What is my lambda? Lambda is 4. Not 2. Lambda is 4. And x value is 2. Because I'm adding 0, 1, and 2. So I only enter the last value and then paste. And then again, when we are paste, on paste, enter and enter. And enter. So, lambda is 4, x value is 2, paste, enter, and enter. And the answer is 0.7619. So let's write that out. Let me reduce this a little bit. So P, probability of X greater or equal to two, 3 is equal to, answer is 0 0.7619. So you use the law of complete probability of law of complements okay so x greater or equal to two three is the complement or opposite of x less equal to two so using the probability law of complements probability of x greater or equal to three is one minus the probability of the complement event which is one minus probability of x less equal to two which is one minus pose of cdf two and Four. Okay. I'm sorry, I wrote it wrong. It should be four and two, right? So it is, yes, four and two. So I've written this wrong. So let me correct this because the first value is the lambda value. So this will be four and two. This is the lambda value, 4, and this is the x value, equal to 2.
So I'll stop here today. If you have any question, comments, please write me a note. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And if you like this video, please let your friends know about it. I'll appreciate that. And you and your friends, please subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button at the bottom right corner. Okay. See you next time when I come back with another interesting problem, interesting solution. Take care. Have a nice day and thanks for watching.